Well, history recently came to life on the Walnut Street Bridge as the children of today became the newsboys of long ago. They learned a timely lesson, and they're a great example of what's right with our schools. Y'all gonna hit this direction first, all the way to the end of the bridge. We are uh, celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Wall Street, Black Wall Street Massacre in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And I thought it would be a really great idea if we uh, included some students in, in that history lesson. Extra, extra, read all about it. And so we developed a newspaper that has all the information and history of Black Wall Street, as well as Juneteenth, as well as Memorial Day, which was also created by, by black people, uh, and dressing them up in 1921 Newsies outfits. Today we are handing out newspapers about, um, the, about Juneteenth, the Tesla, um, Oklahoma, and the history behind it. I really don't know much about it, but the only thing I know so far is that it was terrible racism was happening in Oklahoma and stuff. I think in today's society right now that it, this is a very important thing to do. I think that black lives do matter and I think that our society really needs to hear that and understand that. Extra, extra, read all about it. Would you like to share? Well, I feel that part of my duty here being on the planet is to make sure these young men know their history so we don't repeat history extra, extra. again. And it dawned on me that we celebrate July 4th. Ask the kids, what was July 4th about? And they would be like, fireworks. And I'm like, oh, really? I say, well, do you understand that when we celebrated our independence, the African Americans were still slaves? And do you actually know the freedom date of slavery? And it's June 19th. So I had to let them know because our young men did not know that we were freed from slavery June 19th, 1865. If you've been looking at anything on television, whether it's CNN or any of the networks, you will find that that's been a big topic is because of that 100th anniversary. And now those, those survivors are looking for reparations. And so, again, we have the news media following a lot of the things that have gone on, but people are learning this history that Tulsa intentionally covered up for almost 100 years. Now, we'll be doing What's Wrong With Our Schools all summer long. If you have an idea of something going right with the school, submit that story idea to www.wdef.com. Click on the tab What's Right With Our Schools.